Hi there and Happy New Year, Happy New Year to everyone and what I was going to do is speak about 2016 in review very briefly so my highlights of the year um, going back to last February, January I went to Miami for a meditation intensive with Stuart Perrin and I enjoyed that and it was very interesting I enjoyed being in Miami with the uh, staying with a friend from Woodstock Fruit Festival, so that was a good time with uh, Priscilla and her family. So enjoyed that time. Uh, obviously enjoyed the UK Fruit Festival that I ran, and it was another successful year of doing that, and a lot of people enjoyed it again. And hoping to do it again. Well, we are going to do it again this year in two thousand and seventeen. Uh, what else? Woodstock Fruit Festival, again. Well, in particular there, one of my absolute highlights of the year was doing um, the talent show. But before the talent show, I had a really good evening of creating music with two friends. Uh, April Electra, who you might know from YouTube and Facebook and so on. And she wanted for... She wanted a while... For to write a song together so we we eventually decided to go and write a song and another f friend May who I'd never really spoken to that much but I'd played basketball with she came along and we put we, we just had a kind of jam session and wrote some music and it was just really fun it was really um, a total highlight for me, a, a, just a brilliant night, a lot of, there's a lot of excitement when you create something together and it really works well and everyone comes together, shares ideas and it works because so often it doesn't work so when it actually <laughs> it actually happens it's quite a, a brilliant, brilliant moment and it just gives you a lot of vitality, it, just get, well, it gives you a lot of um, positivity and vitality for life. So that was a really, <coughs> really great highlight. Um, and apart from that in the year you know it, a lot of the things that I'm thinking about that are the things that I enjoyed were events where I went and I was learning things or I was interacting with people <coughs> um, there was a friend of mine called Nick that I went over to his house and he was doing it was like it must have been at his house for like 10 or 12 hours and he was uh, just talking and talking and he was just, showing me his guided meditations and he was showing me his presentations and things that he does. It was a fantastic day. And recording my album, which hasn't hasn't quite been released yet, but that was a, obviously a huge thing for me to actually get an album recorded and out because I've been doing music for a long time but never actually properly recorded an album. So that was another highlight. Through all that time, my diet has been raw vegan and I would say it's there's been times where it was a bit higher fat, probably towards the start of the year in particular. Um, and certainly when it came to just before the festival and leading up to the, uh, just a while before the festival, um, I definitely gained a lot of weight. And I knew I had to make some changes basically. So um, I'd... I'd had some times where I was eating a lot of tahini and adding tahini to things. Um, I was sometimes falling back on using a, like sweet corn or green peas, which are actually probably pretty high in calories in terms of carbohydrates. So I was using some of those at times and maybe too much. Um, and then adding tahini on top of that and maybe adding avocado on top of that, I don't know, but <laughs> stuff like that and unlimited avocados and stuff. So I, I put on weight because I was eating a lot of fruit as well on top of that, just eating loads. So definitely got back to a healthier, um, got more on course, back to the, stayed away from the fats as much and back to the sweet fruit. So I've not been doing this kind of lifestyle for about four or five years. And it's not 
something that I've completely perfected or got absolutely solid. Um, but I've basically been doing some something around the 8-10-10 diet as, as best as I could in that time. So that's my, my diet now is back to getting all the sweet fruits in so I get my calories from carbohydrates. And this year, 2017, I definitely want to improve my fitness because I think my fitness has went downhill um, in the last couple of years. So I want to improve my fitness. So I've went on Strava. So I'll, I'll, I'll send a, I'll show you a link on that if you want to follow me on that. And um, let me know what your kind of resolutions are below. I'm sure I'll come out with some resolutions as well. And uh, you know, post your questions and everything else down below. I hope, hope everyone's doing well this year. Thank you. Bye.